assault it. I don't think he's from this country because I'm not understanding anything he says. So the immigrants, uh, immigration is a, is a hot issue right now. So I'm sure this guy knows nothing about the law since he's from Kenya. They have different law there. All right, I'm keeping the peace. Can you loosen it? This is America, guys. This is America. Goodness gracious. Are the laws different in Kenya? Can you just loosen it? I'm not. Uh oh. They can't put him in the jail. They have to put him. This is the homeless soup kitchen. Turns to a jail. They're saying they're hurting him. It's. He's saying they're hurting him. There's a... Uh, there's a female. I don't know if she's a tourist. A tourist or not. Why are you hurting my wife? Goodness! Why are you hurting my wife? Why are you hurting my wife? Okay, you can hurt me, but do not hurt my wife. Why are you hurting my wife? Why are you hurting my wife? You can help me all you can. I can handle that. I'm a, you can help me. No, no. You can help me. But no, why no. are you hurting my wife? She has no training. She She's has not no happy. She's a civilian. No, no. She's a why are you hurting my wife? Why are you hurting my wife? No, you are hurting my wife. My wife is right over there, why are you hurting her? You can hurt me or you can. Alright, I'm gonna put the other camera in that direction. But I've got no good view of her. Um, no, 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 no. But there's more filmers out here. This is when I need more filmers. Right now. Why are you hurting me? Why are you hurting me? Look, you are tightening my hands more than I can. They're hurting him. The cuffs are hurting him. 
him and their compliance techniques have been hurting him. Air base shoving him around a little bit. Moving him around, moving him around. They got both of them in there now and they're behind closed doors. So we'll see what's going on in a second. We're going through his belongings with wallet and stuff. We've got, uh, these are closed off because they don't want anybody seeing in there. Making sure I'm not standing any kind of uh, throw up. Lots of throw up out here, lots of horse shit. Welcome to Texas. They've got him sitting down. They've got her over there. All right, they are arrested. Stay tuned, I'm gonna monitor. Garibay is losing his mind. Alright, so Garibay's losing his damn mind over here. Garibay's uh, treating the guy like he's a sack of bricks, shoving him around, slamming him into the chair, yelling at him. They're yelling at each other. What's the wife doing? This isn't good. This is not good. They're going to put the They'll put the hood on him, they'll put a belt on him, they'll strip him, they'll beat him, they'll do anything they want to do, and the sergeants and other officers will look on because they got out of control cops. These guys live for this stuff. They're addicted to this stuff. Um, this, there's adrenaline addiction, there's steroid addictions, there's possible other substance addictions like cocaine. All these drugs are pretty common in law enforcement in the United States, as well as in uh, the court system and other areas of the criminal justice system. It's very corrupt, full of people that really don't care, and they would never second guess the actions of any of these officers, even if they killed somebody, even if they shot them in the back of the head or shot them while naked going across the street. Uh, these guys are apparently from Kenya, according to the officers, if the information is correct. Uh, a man and a wife, um, and uh, he's declaring that he's being hurt. I'm not sure what transpired in the beginning. Apparently, there was an argument, or they were getting crunk with it. I don't really know what the customs and laws in these countries are. Uh-oh. What is that? What was that? What was that? What did they just do to him? I don't know. It's not good. Coffee's in there. Coffee's looking crazy. Running around looking crazy. I don't know what coffee's on or what his problems are. I got something stuck to my damn foot. I have no idea what it is. Ugh. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, so, yeah. This is why we need more filmers out here for incidents like this where they're hurting people and where people feel like their rights are being violated. Let's go up front. We're going to the front. They're running around with them. He's not as, not as loud as he was earlier, is he? But whenever they slammed him down, they shut him up. So I guess their techniques are tried and true. Hitler would be proud. So, a man and a wife having an argument, both get arrested. And these cops are like hyped up on this energy. Alvarez, they got her down on the ground in some kind of submission. She's down on her knees on the ground inside the Caritas. Seems like they have her arms up a little bit in that submission hold. But 
can't tell how much has been applied or not applied and we don't know how much pain she's in but uh, they might have used her to shut him up tortured her said shut up or we're gonna make it worse for your wife that's uh, that's a long tried and true thing of fascism fascism in our government um, if you don't believe that ask a lot of famous people how ask Dave Chappelle ask um, Cat Williams Stay tuned. <laughs> Somebody's burning off around in the parking garage. It's really loud over there because it's echoed. Okay, so they assaulted the guy for assaulting somebody else. But it was his wife in that country. I don't know. I don't know how crunk they get. I know a little bit about Japan. In Japan, you go to get drunk with your boss at, at night or on the weekend or whenever it is probably just on the weekend on Saturday night because they work so hard in the culture and you go and you get uh, do karaoke and you go and get kampai, you get drunk, drink the sake and you are allowed to cuss out your boss and be ir ir disrespectful to your boss you don't get fired it's how they vent it's part of the culture um, I just don't know how crunk people get. Not to make any excuses for people hurting other people, but um, sometimes you gotta say what's going on, what's really going on here. Seebeck, Corporal Seebeck is calling for backup for our transport. We got this unit here that's unmarked. Oh, we got a police guard trying to get in. Unit number 1443. Yeah, we got an unmarked. Um, private vehicle, pretending to be a police car. It's Bravo Mary Victor 4143. He doesn't want to transport, he said. Seebeck's trying to get somebody to transport the lady. Seebeck makes it do some sit-ups. It's not his hair that needs to be cut. He actually needs to cut his waistline severely. It's a heart attack waiting for the city to happen. It could be a good thing, but it could be a bad thing and pay out for the taxpayers. I wonder what she's being charged with. If he was the one supposedly pushing her, supposedly, then what, uh, according to the information we have so far, then what did she actually do? So they're going to be bringing her out for transport. Let's see how well she's looking. Um, to cover the lady and the man's wife at the same time. And see how she's doing. Because I'm, I'm sure he's concerned about her. He was showing concern for her. Irrespective of the disrespectful nature of their relationship under our culture's terms. I just want to mention that. that we see everything through our lens. There she is. They're gonna frisk her without any females present. I don't know what the customs. She's crying. She's upset. I don't know what the customs are of their country. Regarding this, this could be really bad. Really, really bad in some people's countries like death penalty back to treat someone's wife in this way. There may be. Do you understand that? Or the husband. Something about a number. Something about a number. They're loosening her cuffs. 
You guys all catching this? This ladies? Cops trying to scare me by moving the barricades behind me really fast. I've looked down their barrels of their smoking gun after they killed my family member. I think I'm gonna be alright. He's got the gloves on, he's using them back to his hand. In his inner pockets. Inner pockets. You're gonna go to your husband, you said. So that's a lie. That's called a lie. They're gonna go to jail separately. They'll be separated at the jail. The male and female populations are separated through the process. So somebody send this to the ACLU and whoever's working with immigrants uh, and stuff. We have some travelers here. Immigration, tourism, what's the difference? Um, they got people here from Kenya that have been detained against their will and they are being told that they're going to be put back together again and they're from another country and they don't know that the white devil lies like the Indian told us. Do not side contracts or treaties with the white devil because he has never kept any of his treaties or anything to, still to this day. To this very day in North Dakota they're still taking Indian land and treating people like they didn't give a crap about the treaties in the 1800s that, we, that, were, that are still in effect. They're still in effect. Activist lizard. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.